Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have another stretching video for you. This is going from 10 gauge to eight gauge, and I'm also transitioning from the taper method to the dead stretching method. And I'll explain what that is. So tapering, if you have seen any of my previous videos stretching, you would know that that is when you use this little tool called a taper. It's super small because I'm still really small. I'm only at 10 gauge right now, but that is when this more small size here is your current size so the gauge or the millimeter whatever size that your ear currently is goes in this end and then this side here you can tell is a little thicker and that is the size that you are going up to so essentially you're just pushing it through your ear will stretch and then you will put in your larger size plug or tunnel in and it'll sit like that for about six weeks that is the method that i had been using up until now i did recently just get a set of glass plugs with the intention of using them to dead stretch. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that because again, they are really tiny and I had the O-ring on. This is what they look like without the O-ring. But dead stretching is when the material that you put in your ear has a little bit of weight to it and the weight that is pulling down on your ears just a little bit will make it so that in time you'll just be able to easily slide the next size up into your ear without the need of using a taper because a lot of people believe that tapers are a cause for blowout because you are causing blunt force trauma to the ear. That is what everybody says here on YouTube and I've done in my research I've seen a lot of people use the words blunt force trauma that tapers can cause just because you're pushing back and it's sizing up so you can cause your ear to kind of like flip out the back and cause that like cat bought hole <laughs> effect. So yeah, I wanted to prevent that as much as possible and switch over to the dead stretching method as soon as possible. So yeah, for this particular stretch, I am going to use the taper just because I didn't bother getting a 10 gauge because this ear has been at 10 gauge for about a month and a half. And this one has been for about three and a half weeks to a month. I know that's uh, not super long. I've had people comment on my videos that I'm waiting too long between stretches and I really don't understand that. I'm waiting the minimum, if not even a little less time between stretches. So I'm doing what I think is right. I'm not forcing anything. So if it doesn't work today, it doesn't work today. I'll wait a little bit longer and see how that goes. But I'm going to attempt to use the tapers and then follow in the glass jewelry afterwards instead of the regular tunnels that I've been using. Hopefully that makes sense. Hope it makes sense. It makes sense in my head. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to waste any more time because I just got out of the shower. I'm sure it's very obvious. I'm not wearing any makeup or anything, but the first time I ever stretched on camera, at least I did not, what is it? I was in the shower and then I immediately did it afterwards and it was super easy. And then the past two times that I've done videos, I haven't because I didn't think the showering really helped that much. But now that I'm looking back and seeing how I had some resistance getting the jewelry in, I think showering did help a lot. I don't want to hop into it soon, so I'm not like wasting the fact that I just was in the shower. This is probably going to be the last time that I'm going to use a taper, just because like I said, I am transitioning over to the dead stretching method and I don't need tapers anymore. But since this is my first time actually putting in the glass plugs and the glass plugs are at an eight gauge and I'm currently at a 10, I am gonna use the tapers just to help get the jewelry in. I'm gonna do one at a time. This ear usually is not as easy for some reason. I don't know why, but I've had the same issue as I've been getting tattooed. I'm getting my back done. Um, I found that my left side for some reason is always worse. So I don't know why that is. I'm gonna get this one over with first. So it is cleaned. I will. Put some jojoba oil on my fingers. And this is what I do every day, by the way. I should probably make a video about like caring for my ears or how I care for my ears between stretches because the maintenance is super easy. I just, for the first like five days, I won't take the jewelry out. I'll just use some H2 Ocean on a Q-tip and then just clean the front and the back. And then after that, every day, I'll take them out after I shower, clean them with H2 Ocean and massage my ears with Vitamin E. It's weird, I have two different oils. I use jojoba oil to stretch and I use vitamin E to massage my ears. That's just because that's where I leave them in my bathrooms. I have a bathroom upstairs and I have a bathroom downstairs and I leave the vitamin E upstairs because I do the stretching. I don't know why I always stretch down here, but I'm just massaging my earlobe. I feel like this one is going to be the one that's gonna give me the most difficulty too, if at all, because this is the one that I stretch the most recent 
So yeah, I'm gonna just get the taper all oiled up, put it in. Okay, so there's that. It's so weird because it's like rounded at the bottom. It doesn't really fit on it super well. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Okay, <laughs> that was really easy. Let me show you guys. This is what the glass plugs look like. I got them from Arctic Buffalo, by the way. Or I got some from Arctic Buffalo. And then I got the others from Urban, no, what is it? Body Art Forms. Some of them didn't have all of the sizes that I was looking for. I'm just putting the over on the back now, by the way. Um, so yeah, I just got half on one side and like half on the other, which is kind of silly, but I'm impatient and I wanted to just get them. Ooh, that o-ring is like not tight at all and I think it's probably because it's super oily but I'll have to be careful about that but that is what it looks like that was super easy by the way the taper helped a ton at least I think so I don't know <laughs> so I'm gonna take this side out and do this one this is what my ear looks by the way looks like it's a tiny little baby hole just so cute I've also had people tell me to like stop and like not go any bigger. With all due respect, I will do what I want to do. Please don't tell people what to do with their own bodies on the internet. I feel like we should have to say this, but nobody cares about your opinion. So please keep them to yourself. This is what I'm doing. I don't need anybody to tell me that it doesn't look good and I shouldn't be doing it because I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm assuming this one is going to be a lot easier. And I feel like I might not even need a taper. And then I'm going to take the glass plug, which I think these glass plugs are so cute, by the way. I like them so much better, I think, than the tunnels. I just think they look really cute. And there we go. That is so easy, guys. Put the O-ring on. Sanitize the O-ring too, just in case. And then I'll wipe away some of this oil because, oh my gosh, it is so oily. So that is it. Here's what they look like. They kind of just look like stud earrings at this point because they're not super big but yeah i'm gonna leave these in until maybe like a month a month and a half and then i will try to size up and see how that goes and then like i said this should be the last time that i'm using tapers because now i have transitioned into using the glass plugs they should kind of weigh themselves on their own so yeah, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have used the dead stretching method and your thoughts on it. I'm interested to hear um, which is your preference. I'm really excited about trying this because I like the way these look and I think it's gonna be a lot better and safer for my ears, but that is just my opinion. I would love to hear your experience doing this for yourself. Let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.